Welcome to this edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Murray. And I'm David Jones. And we've got a hardware spin on today's show, which is code for gearheads stick around. You will love what you're about to see. And we also have a remodeling project. We'll learn how to finance that remodeling project. Plus, we'll end up at one of my favorite spots in the garage, and that's the tool bench. <laughs> so stay right where you are. It's all coming up right now on Designing Spaces. Right now that the house is looking sweet, time mm -hmm. to think about those emergency situations. Like when the power goes out with hurricanes here in Florida? Absolutely. Or if you live in the areas that are hit by long, hard winters, the power can go out. And the answer is a home generator. But which home generator is right for you? Well, here's Sasha Andre from St. Anthony, Minnesota. We've got Ty from Cummins Power Generation who's going to let us know all about residential standby generators and exactly who should have them. Well, anyone that lives on a coast, anyone that lives in an area that's prone to tornadoes, hurricanes, ice storms, if you live in an area that has extreme heat, you have elderly in the home, if you have in-home medical needs and depend on a lift or an elevator to go around, these are the people that especially need home standby power. These are the people who pretty much cover most of the country. Yeah, that that's pretty much <laughs> covers everybody. Likewise, if you have a home business, if you have a stock freezer, if you uh, just don't like the idea of being without power, this is going to give you that peace of mind. Now, is there an appropriate time to get a power generator? Well, it sounds obvious, but hopefully before you have the power outage. All too often, homeowners will make that purchase only after they've been through the heartache that's caused from a lack of power. Okay, cool. Well, I know that you have a generator to show me. I do. Let's take a look at it. All right, sounds good. All right, Ty. So over here, we have the Cummins RS-12000 residential standby generator, right? Right. What makes this different than the other generators in the market? This particular unit stands out in a number of ways. It's a fully integrated generator with transfer switch. It has an in-home display, wireless communication. It'll actually send you an email when it needs service. Okay. It's lightweight, requires only one person to install, yet it's powerful enough to start a four-ton air conditioner unit. It's rated at 64 dBA, which is a decibel rating, um, so it's extremely quiet. And all this is housed in a nice-looking all-climate enclosure. I mean, this definitely doesn't look like what I would expect a generator would look like. Uh, you know, with the color and the styling, we like to think of it as the most fashionable generator out there. <laughs> but uh, with the all-climate enclosure, it's actually going to protect it from the weather all throughout the year. Right. And uh, most importantly, it's, it's the highest quality on the market. And it blends in with the landscaping. That's right. Now, say I want to get this generator. What should I keep in mind, or are there uh, any misconceptions that I should be aware of? I would say the most common misconception is sizing. Unfortunately, homeowners will go out and they'll purchase the cheapest or lowest wattage generator that they can find. And then when the storm hits and they need these items, the power isn't there. Right. On the other end, they can uh, purchase too large of a generator, and it's just a waste of money because they don't need that much power. So you want to have, uh, have a qualified technician sit down and talk to you about your unique power needs. Okay. And uh, Cummins has the broadest network of dealers available, and they can help you make that decision. This particular unit, the RS-12000, is just an all-around great unit. And it's going to meet a majority of residential uses. So basically, this applies to most homes. Yeah, this is, this is going to do what you need. So all you need is basically a permit and, of course, a professional. So speaking of emergencies, tell me exactly what's going to happen. Say lightning hits, my power goes out, what is this generator going to do? Well, this generator has an automatic transfer panel. And that panel monitors utility power all the time. So it's monitoring that power that's coming into your house. If there's a disruption in that power, the transfer panel will recognize that and it will start the generator within seconds. The generator will continue to supply power to your house until the utility is restored. At that time, it's going to shut itself down. It's going to reset itself for the next power outage. It's all seamless. It's, uh, it's an automatic process, so the homeowner doesn't even know it happened. Now, you can't really predict sometimes when emergencies happen, but you do have to maintain this, I'm assuming, right? Right. Well, it's uh, similar to an automobile. It, uh, it'll exercise itself once or twice a week. You can actually determine what time of day that happens. It's very quiet, non-disruptive to your neighbors. It'll send you an email if it needs an oil change or any other service requirement. Another neat feature about this unit, say you're out of town, there's a bad storm back home, you can actually go onto the web, check out the unit, make sure it's supplying power to your house. So this generator kind of seems like a addition to a family since it's, you know, it's going to email you, keep in touch, let you know when it needs you, plus it's going to take care of you in times of need. That's right. I would say when the power goes out, this is the kind of friend you want. Oh, thanks so much. I've learned a lot. You bet, Sasha. Well, as you can see, having a residential standby generator like this, it's no longer a luxury. 
and hopefully we've given you all the information that you need to make the right decision so you don't get caught in the dark or cold or even heat. And with a high quality residential standby generator like this from Cummins Onan, you can have that peace of mind. I'm Sasha Andreev for Designing Spaces. You know, after all the great ideas that we've shown today, I'm sure our viewers are ready to get started on some home improvement oh, projects. Oh, absolutely. Are you ready for another fantastic remodeling project? Sounds good. What is this one? I'll tell you. Okay. Next week, because we're out of time on today's show. All but thanks right. for watching, everyone. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Murray. We'll see you next time on Designing Spaces. Bye-bye. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.